In today's HealthCast, researchers are learning more about the possible benefits and drawbacks of plant-based meat and dairy alternatives. Researchers from the University of Bath in England found evidence that these products can be better for both our health and our environment. But nutrition experts say the important consideration for consumers is understanding the content of some plant-based products. Not all plant-based meat alternatives are created equal. In fact, many are very high in sodium, three times higher in sodium than, than fresh beef. Also, some are high in saturated fat if they're made from coconut oil, which is not friendly if you have high cholesterol. Well, Candace O'Neill, a registered dietitian with Cleveland Clinic Weston, says many of her clients are becoming flexitarians, reducing their animal protein intake and swapping it out for plant-based alternatives, which she says can create a healthy dietary balance. Okay. Flexitarians, okay, first time hearing that. And new research, by the way, shows long COVID gives most people problems with some of life's day-to-day -day activities. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention found 81% of people with long COVID reported day-to-day -day limitations. 25% reported significant limitations. The CDC says long COVID occurs when a person who has cleared the infection still shows symptoms at least four weeks later. In some cases, though, the symptoms can last for months or even years. The CDC says young adults ages 18 to 29 reported the highest share of people reporting trouble performing daily tasks at 86%.